Hey guys, it's Rebecca. So today I want to show you how to convert from standard form into slope intercept form, which is something that you get asked a lot, you get asked to do a lot when you're doing algebra. So let's just start off by talking about what standard form and slope intercept form look like. So here is standard form. So when you're dealing with a problem that's in standard form, it's going to look like ax plus by equals c. So x and y will just be x and y, the variables, and then a, b, and c will be numbers. So for example, one example might be plus 4y equals 5. So let's just say we wanted to convert this equation in standard form into slope-intercept form. So slope-intercept form is always going to look like y equals mx plus b. So this is the slope, m. is always going to represent the y-intercept. Okay, so let's go. When you are converting from one form to another form, it's really helpful to think about where you're trying to go. So we have this form, and we want to convert to slope-intercept form. In slope-intercept form, y is by itself on the left. So in order to get y by itself on the left here, we want to subtract 3x from both sides. Now we just have 4y equals minus 3x plus 5. Okay, so if we compare this to y equals mx plus b, we're a lot closer. But we've still got this coefficient, this integer, in front of y. So in order to totally get it into slope-intercept form, we want to divide both sides by 4. So we're going to divide both sides by 4, and then 4y divided by 4 is just y. Then if we are going to distribute the 4 to both of the things that are being divided, it's negative 3x over 4 plus 5 over 4. So we're so close, we're almost to slope-intercept form. So usually in slope-intercept form, the slope is just one number. And here, x is in the numerator. So we're going to pull this out, so it's just one number in front of x. So we can write negative 3 fourths x because negative 3x divided by 4 is the same as negative 3 fourths x plus 5 over 4. So we just converted it from standard form to slope-intercept form. And just looking at slope-intercept form, we can see that the slope, also known as m, equals negative 3 fourths In the y-intercept is 5 fourths. So that's how you convert from standard form to slope-intercept form.